My artist name is Sempra. Rocco's Modern Life. X. Oh, Dirty Burger. Survival Tactics by Joey Badass and Capital C's. Oh, the Question Mark album by X. The Virus and Antidote. The first Toy Story. Of course, fucking Bolt. Deadpool. Don't do drugs. Um, I suppose it's because I say fuck a lot. That's probably like one of the main things that people don't like. Um, I guess they consider it not marketable and um, people in New Zealand, I guess, are a lot slower to catch on to underground artists per se. And like, um, there's a very like select few people that have that industry support that puts them in front of people. <clears throat> so I guess that's, that's why you wouldn't see as much of me. Um, I guess so. I've always like, obviously I've always liked it, but um, I can see why people would sort of um, hear like a little bit of it and then just like it not, not be their thing. Um, yeah, and like with the, the, the last question, I guess it like ties in, like there is a stigma. So it's like, that's why it's, so it has so little support for like our genre. Um, it was mostly like at, at the beginning, I could, when like before Russia was banned from Spotify, I could see like, there was like, it was like two parts of the United States and one part Russia. So like Moscow was always one of my, like my biggest city. Um, so yeah, like, I guess a lot of European countries and, um, but Russia and US are like the biggest. Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, I'm like very aware of that. Um, I was scrolling on my TikTok, I think it was yesterday, and I like, I had just opened the app and I scrolled one video, and then like there was a video of like these dudes doing like knife training with Cowboy Warrior, and the video had like 10 million views. But yeah, no, nah, I, I can see, like, I can see like just how popular it is through like my stats, I guess, because I can like go and, and see exactly where it's spiking. And um, one day I just woke up and it just spiked, and it's just gone up ever since. So yeah, like I, I get a lot of people sending me like TikToks with that song in it. Yeah, I guess a lot of people have started like uh, utilizing it by paying TikTokers to like make uh, like videos to their songs. I suppose, I never thought about doing it. I don't know, I just don't, I don't see that, that, that method as like something that I would do per se, but that's probably a good idea. I probably should. Um, yeah, there's been, I've, I've been having, especially recently, I've got like a few labels in my inbox um, <clears throat> trying to sign me. I've had like meetings with them and stuff, and it's just like sort of the same thing over and over again, like tired tactics. They try and gas you up and then they're like, all right, but now here's the catch. Give me 60% of your earnings. And I'm like, oh, I can't really afford that with the fucking tax rate in New Zealand. Sorry. <laughs> I guess like uh, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't entice these deals with with major labels, but there are like sub labels that are offering a lot less predatory deals that I've been like talking to and like looking at, where it's just more of like a project by project deal instead of like a lock you in for five years type of thing. So that's that's I guess is like because. Um, because of Spotify and like TikTok and like the growing like popularity of like underground music, we have a lot more leverage over these major labels because we can just do it ourselves now. Um, so I think they're starting to realize that and then st like work their deals to be more supporting of independent artists. And that's, that's I guess what I would say would uh, help, help me entice those deals. Um, the first one was Eminem, I guess. I was like, 
I was like eight, I'm trying to like rap all the fast parts of his, his songs. I'd like learn the lyrics and like see if I could go along. And it was just like, like an ADHD focus of mine for a while. And then I just like completely stopped listening to music until I was like 15. And then I found like uh, Denzel Curry and then X and X is what really like took me and like made me look at all of the rest of the underground shit. And then yeah, like Pervio, Ghost Main, Suicide Boys, all that shit. Sort of like, I just like stumbled across it. I find all the new shit and then go backwards. Originally, like, I'm, I'm very like ritualistic when it comes to that. So when I first started, I would like, I was living in Hamilton and there was this dairy like 10 meters from my house and I'd go get a cookie time cookie and a big monster. And I'd sit at my desk and I'd eat my cookie time cookie and I'd drink my monster about halfway and then I'd start recording and then like drink the rest of the monster as I'm recording to like keep my voice from fucking out. But now I just, um, I'm not, I'm not as ritualistic with it, with it anymore. I just need like a, a drink. That's it. Just need a water bottle and I just record. I started, um, so I started like doing music as a joke in like 2018. So I just like made one song with an Xbox headset and it was like, um, the beat was sampling Britney Spears Toxic and I was just like saying real dumb shit on it. I just made it as a joke and then I kind of got addicted to making the music. Um, and then I, I started actually trying probably like mid 2019 when I like first started uploading to Spotify and all that sort of stuff. Um, just going back to the earlier, um, when you were saying about in terms of the labels, um, do you think like your maturity now influences your decisions in those discussions? Um, <clears throat> I think I was very fortunate in the beginning, like sort of like coming up to have people around me that had like been around in the scene, like were just like OGs, like um, Jay Green who would help me with advice and all that sort of stuff on that, which is the advice is pretty much just don't ever sign. But um, I think it is a mix between that and um, my maturity, because it's definitely like, I can see how these labels can like, get their claws into like, young kids that are starting off and like starting to get a little bit of money or are like not getting money and they, they want money and they need money now. So they're like, all right, I'm just gonna take this. And then they don't they don't um, think about the consequences later on, being stuck in that deal for like an extended period of time. Cause you can like, I think it's just such a hindrance cause you can, you can blow up at any time and you don't wanna be stuck being told when you can and can't release for like two years. Definitely am glad I am coming up now rather than earlier. Um, cause I got my feelers for the scene and like what it's like and like how you need to be and how you need to move to like keep yourself safe. Um, I, I, just, I think just like pure energy, I guess. Um, just like everything about it, what I do or like what I make, I just want it to be just hitting. Like um, just flow patterns. I just want to surprise people. I want them to like listen and like want to run it back and listen again sort of thing. Yeah, I just want um, just straight up energy. Just to stop giving a fuck what people think or like what people on the internet say, I guess. That was like a big thing for me coming up is like caring what people thought or like reading into like hate and actually letting it affect me. Um, at the end of the day, anyone that can like sit there and type out a fucking shitty hate comment must be uh, living a pretty sad life.